Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Edelman Time as you here in Munich, Precious Metal Fair. And with me here is uh, Gold Mining and Amir Adani, the chairman of the company, who wants to give us an update. Amir, welcome again. Thanks, <laughs> Good to be here to give you the update. Absolutely. Look forward to that. Gold Mining, you have uh, assembled a lot of good projects around the world, I would call it. And uh, I think uh, in the last uh, yeah, five to six months, you added two more and you finished one of the acquisitions. So maybe give us a short update on that, please. Uh, it's been a very busy year for gold mining and uh, overall so far we've announced uh, three acquisitions and two of them have been since you and I last spoke uh, for our update. And so we closed uh, the acquisition of the Yellowknife Gold Project in Canada's uh, Northwest Territories. Uh, these assets used to be inside a public company called Taihe Gold and uh, we ended up ultimately buying uh, the projects for about 3.5% dilution, $6.8 million of value, $6.8 million of value in shares for a project that had over 200,000 meters of diamond drilling, uh, had in fact been taken to feasibility stage. Put differently, over 60 million, 60 was invested in the project, the same project we bought for $6.8 million basically in stock. Uh, and uh, happens to be obviously in Canada, uh, great political, you know, great jurisdiction Canada as in terms of geopolitical profile and uh, historic resources. So the next step uh, for this project now that the acquisition is closed is we will uh, compile a new 43101 resource report which will be released and again this will be based on over 200,000 meters of diamond drilling. And this will be uh, released hopefully in the next three months. So it gives us another uh, news update to look forward to. And it will continue to grow our total uh, 43101 gold resources. So continues to add to um, uh, the portfolio that we're building. Also, this greenstone belt um, in uh, the Yellowknife, uh, uh, called the Yellowknife Greenstone Belt, it's a very attractive area. There's a lot of other exploration taking place uh, in that neighborhood. Companies just doing exploration to the south of us, for example, uh, are getting good results. No resources yet, but are trading as high as 100 million market cap, which is quite remarkable when you consider that that's basically like half of gold mining's current market cap is right there and that's a brand new acquisition. So very exciting there. Uh, and then uh, recently we've also announced uh, the acquisition of the Crucero Gold Project from a company called uh, Lupaca. Uh, and again, a classic acquisition for gold mining. Classic in the sense that there's prior drilling, uh, prior uh, resources, which are considered historic right now until we compile and complete our own 43101 report. Uh, project is uh, in Peru. The country of Peru, of course, is another uh, fantastic mining jurisdiction, uh, and very key and uh, exciting gold endowment and gold belts there that uh, we're, um, we're looking at. Uh, and so we expect to close this acquisition um, uh, hopefully in the next two to three weeks. And then that will also lead to another 43101 resource report, which will then be added to our total resources. So I'm not sure or I'm not aware of any other or too many other gold companies that in 2017 have as aggressively been making acquisitions and have been as aggressively adding to total resources but in a very cost-effective way. The Crucero acquisition, uh, again, our total cost comes in at less than uh, $7 million, mainly in stock. There's about $700,000 of cash. But again, when you look at historic resources of uh, a million ounces indicated, a million ounces inferred, you can do the math on a per historic ounce in the ground type of value. These are uh, very much bottom of the cycle, bear market type acquisitions we're making. So we're sticking very much to the strategy and demonstrating that um, uh, we're only increasing and expanding our asset base. Strategy is one of the key points I want to also touch shortly based on um, because, uh, I mean, you have done great acquisitions, really cheap, no question. But can you maybe elaborate a bit more for our viewers what is like the larger game plan on all those acquisitions? What, what is your like your strategy you want to do then the next step? Sure. So uh, our strategy, first of all, is, is a strategy that is probably one of the uh, most tried and tested strategies in the history of mining investing. 
there are many examples of successful mining companies who bought assets at the bottom of a cycle during a bear market and gold prices. They would buy assets. Uh, Rand Gold started out this way. Uh, and silver, it was companies like Pan American Silver or Silver Standard, where when the uh, commodity price cycle goes into a bear market, you buy assets that may not be economic today, or maybe marginally economic today when the mar price is down, but you're buying them because you can buy for cents on the dollar when the uh, resources are, are down, and you're looking to develop and get into production or joint venture or sell when the market recovers. So clearly, we're not building our business with the view that gold prices are going lower. If they go lower, we will buy more. But we're building for a future when the gold price goes up. If you look at this strategy, as executed by other companies in previous down cycles, and as if you look at it as executed by us during this last six-year bear market, it is one of the best ways to generate return and performance on shares for investors. And that's ultimately what we care about. I mean, if you look at our own performance since our IPO in May of 2011, we're up 130%, which is a total outperformance of the TSX Venture and the GDXJ, which are down 70%. So I think if, if anyone wants to truly understand the strategy and the fact that the strategy works, they need to step back and understand how this has been used to create value in the resource business in previous cycles, and just how gold mining's own share price performance over the last six years or since IPO truly demonstrates uh, this to be the case. Let's not forget leverage. When you build such a large portfolio like we have now, which is one of the top uh, lar you know, largest resources anywhere in the yeah, What, 24, 25 million ounces now altogether, yeah? Gold equivalent. That, rep that represents incredible leverage to the higher gold price. So what happens? Look at last year. Gold price goes to only 1340 yeah. and we were up, as you know, almost 300, 400 percent, yeah. one of the best returns for any gold stock last year yeah. in a slightly better gold market, not even a real bull market for gold. And so, um, to come back to your question, I think it's very simple. When we see this continued softness like this year for the gold price, we want to continue to buy. And, uh, and again, the things that we're buying are clearly projects that, again, may not be totally economic today. They may require $1,300 gold or $1,400 gold to be economic. But at the same time, some of the projects that we have, like San Jorge in Brazil or Cachoeira, you look at these projects, uh, open pitable resources at one and a half gram per ton, for example, at San Jorge. You and I know that kind of grade you can develop even at today's gold price. But we choose to be focused on acquisitions. You know why? Because when the bear market is there, it's a great time to buy. You can always develop your projects. You can always develop because when the market goes up, you can't make acquisitions anymore. When the market recovers, you can't make cheap acquisitions anymore. But when the market recovers, you can always develop. And you can sell expensively. And you can sell price. expensively, you can join venture. And this is also very important. I'd encourage anyone who's interested in this, go and look at how some of the projects that we've acquired, these used to be public companies. You can look at the data. You can just see. You can take everything. So yeah, so you can see that when we buy and the gold price is 1100 or 1200 and we've spent $62 million in stock on our last five acquisitions. This doesn't include Crucero because it hasn't closed. And you look at the market cap of those projects or companies, public data, at $1,400 gold, $1,500 gold, just five years ago, the combined market caps were over $800 million for the same assets that we paid $62 million in stock. So, I'm not, you know, that to me is very simple to understand. That, 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 that strategy, that's the heart of the strategy and what we're talking about. And uh, it we, generates returns, and it's been done before in uh, other cycles by other companies. And uh, so that's, those are my thoughts on the strategy. I mean, to us, it's very simple, and it's very black and white. And that's why we've been sticking to it and executing it for six years now as a public company. Yeah, so let's wait for the higher gold price. It's as simple as that. It would be as simple as that, and if it doesn't get there, uh, we know that gold mining has a track record, a six-year track record in being able to find deals, yes. do due diligence, execute, 
and uh, we've demonstrated that year in and year out for six years. So uh, you know how this works. Absolutely, and you do it quite well. Amir, thank you very much. Keep it going, I would say. <laughs> yeah, ladies and gentlemen, it was Amir Nani, the chairman of Gold Mining. And you heard it, they acquired for 62 million a market cap of approximately 800 million. I mean, that is a deal like, or those were deals like a winter summer sale together. This is a fantastic thing what they have done. And they have put together almost 25 million ounces in gold equivalent. Uh, there are not that many companies out in our space. Uh, they have that. And I think they have done very wise acquisitions, very cheap prices paid, uh, cheap on the ounces. And I think it's the perfect match for higher gold prices. Just sit there and wait on it and then restart the whole thing. But then maybe sell expensively, get strategic partners in and create shareholder value because that's what Army here for. Thanks for watching us. Bye-bye from Munich. Check out the company.